So finally, it's been confirmed that uh, the Speaker of Ugandan Parliament, that is uh, Jacob Olanya, has secretly been flown out of the country to receive further medication. <laughs> yes, yesterday I told you that uh, the Speaker is rumored to be in a critical condition. However much the Parliament of Uganda hasn't really communicated to the public, despite the fact that uh, he hasn't been seen in the public for some time. Uh, many Ugandans have actually been asking, uh, where is uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Jacob Olanya? We haven't seen him for a long time. Where is he? And, uh, you, you know, rumors have been making rounds suggesting that, uh, you know, the Speaker of Parliament is not doing very well. But finally, we can confirm it that um, the Speaker of Parliament has secretly been flown out of the country, in particular Seattle, uh, to receive uh, further medication. Yes, according to the the latest news uh, it is said that uh, you know the speaker of parliament was uh, flown out of the country on thursday and is currently in a uh, seattle america yes as you can see in that video uh, the uganda airlines plane is still parked in a uh, seattle and uh, it is said it will be there waiting for him until he gets better you can imagine you know a ugandan plane is in seattle right now waiting for the speaker of parliament to get better just one person if you know you know Anyway, Lito is still known about the sickness he's suffering from, but ultimately, we shall get to know what the problem is. Now, Ugandans on social media are seriously complaining about, uh, you know, the issue of flying out of the country, government officials, for medication, instead of uh, equipping our hospitals with uh, medicine, you know, and everything that is required. You get, recently, the governor of Bank of Uganda died in Aga Khan Hospital, that is in Kenya. Uh, the former minister of ethics, Father Lokodo, also died in Geneva, Switzerland. And uh, many others have actually died outside the country, you know, in the previous years. And, uh, you know, the people are questioning President Museveni and his government. Why don't you really equip our hospitals so that, you know, we can be sure of the services right here? Instead of you government officials, when you fall sick, you fly to the outside countries. Why don't you at least work on the hospitals right here so that we can know that everyone is served? Because a poor Ugandan doesn't have the money, you know, to take them outside the country. Yeah, so that is why uh, a number of people are really complaining that why don't you do something about our hospitals at least so that we can avoid this whole culture of a flying government officials outside the country for, you know, medical attention. So I should say this is uh, the latest news that is uh, really on everyone's lips at the moment. But of course, uh, we hope that, uh, you know, the Speaker of Parliament gets better. But, you know, the problem with these government officials, when they get out of uh, such situation, they don't get back to their senses. I, I expect the Speaker of Parliament really to get back to his senses after experiencing all this. I mean, you're the Speaker of Parliament. Talk to the big man, President Museveni, and tell them, please, we need to do something about our hospitals. But you find them getting out of such situations and they just come and keep quiet. So what is the point? Anyway, just subscribe to the Buzz UG. For us, we are following up on everything that is happening and we shall keep you posted. Thank you.